Today on Sugar Spun Run, I'll be showing you how to make homemade egg noodles. Hey Sugar Spun Bakers, Sam here, and today I wanted to share another pantry staple recipe. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own egg noodles at home. This is a really simple recipe. It's great to have on hand. It makes a great side dish to any dinner, and you can use it in any recipe that calls for egg noodles. Now, the first ingredient you are going to need is two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. You'll want to place this in a large bowl. We'll add a teaspoon of salt in for a little bit of flavor, and we'll just stir the flour and salt together. Now, I like to make a well in the center of my flour because that's where I'm going to be adding my eggs. Now, you'll need three large eggs for this recipe. I'm just gonna pour those into the well. You're also going to need one tablespoon of water. And I'm just going to use a fork to lightly scramble these eggs. And once they're lightly beaten, I will stir them into the flour and salt mixture. Now it's gonna take a little bit of arm muscle to get all of your ingredients to come together, but if your dough is just much too dry and it's not coming together, you can add a little bit more water, a teaspoon at a time. And if it's just way too wet, you can add a little bit more flour, about a tablespoon at a time, until you get the dough to form a nice ball. As you can see, this is taking a little bit of work to get it together, but everything is gonna to come together. The mixture will be pretty shaggy at first, so don't just give up and start adding more water. Use a little bit of that arm muscle and work everything together. So I've gotten my dough to form a ball. It is a little bit dry, but we're not at the point where we wanna add any more water. It should be a little bit dry before we move on to our next step. What I'm going to do now, I'm gonna get all the dough off my fork, is I'm going to transfer this to a lightly floured surface and I'm going to start kneading it. And now I'm just gonna knead this with my hands until it forms a nice smooth ball. Now, even though the dough seems a little bit dry here, more than likely I'm going to end up having to add a little bit more flour. Let's start kneading it and see. So as I'm kneading the dough, the flour is getting absorbed, the dough is getting a little bit sticky, so I'll work a little bit more flour into it. See, even though it seems really dry in the bowl, we still need more flour. It's much easier to work everything together with your hands when you're kneading it than it is in the bowl with a fork. Especially if you have a bad shoulder like I do. So I've probably added an extra tablespoon or two of flour at this point, and I think that's going to be enough. I'm just going to keep kneading this until it becomes a nice smooth ball. So after about 10 minutes of kneading, you should have a smooth elastic ball of dough. So we'll go ahead and we're going to place this right back in the bowl that we originally mixed it in. And we'll cover it with plastic wrap and we're going to need to let it rest for about 20 minutes. This helps the gluten develop. It's going to help give us nice smooth egg noodles. So we're just gonna let it rest for a little bit. So once your dough has finished resting, now we can go ahead and roll it out into our noodle shapes. Now, this makes a lot of noodles. You're gonna end up with about a pound of noodles when all is said and done. But we're gonna be rolling it really thin. So we're going to cut it into about four pieces and just roll out one piece at a time. We'll return three of those pieces to the bowl and we'll take one of our pieces, transfer it to a generously floured surface. And now we're going to use a rolling pin to roll this really thin. If you can, try to roll it into a rectangle, but it's not a huge deal if it's not quite rectangular in shape when you're finished. Now again, we want this to be really, really thin, like paper thin. I usually aim for about 1 16th of an inch. And since we rested our dough, it's going to be a little bit easier to work with than if we hadn't rested it. It's also going to help keep the noodles from shrinking up when we cut them. Looks like I have a little bit too much flour here since my noodles or my dough is sliding all over the place. I'm just gonna flip that over, keep on rolling. And if you need to add additional flour while you're rolling out your noodles, that's completely fine. Add as much as you need. Okay, so this is nowhere near rectangular in shape. I have the same problem when I make pizza. I can't roll a pizza dough into a circle to save my life, but this is fine. If you're a stickler, you can work harder to make it into a rectangle, but since we're going to be cutting our noodles into strips, the shape doesn't really matter. One thing you do wanna pay attention to is you wanna make sure that you make your dough, you roll your dough out as long as you want your noodles to be, at least as long as you want your noodles to be. So now that we have our perfect rectangle here, we're going to go ahead and cut it into strips. Now you can make these egg noodles as thick and as long as you want. I'm just going to cut mine a little less than half an inch wide. 
I'm using a pizza cutter to cut my noodles. This is just the easiest way that I've found, but you can use a sharp knife instead. The way my mom likes to do it is she likes to take the dough, roll it into a rectangle, roll it up kind of like you're making cinnamon rolls and cut it that way. You can certainly do that instead too. If you want your noodles skinnier, you can certainly cut them skinnier. It's totally a matter of personal preference. And then because I don't want my noodles to actually be this long, I'm going to just cut this whole amoeba shape right in half. Now I'll just use my fingers to break up the noodles, make sure they're all separated. And my dough's sticking a little bit. You want your surface to be at least somewhat floured so that the noodles don't stick to it. That makes it a little easier to pull them apart after you've cut them. I'll show you with the next batch. You shouldn't be pulling them up like this. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's just more work than you really need. I'm just throwing all of my noodles in a pile here. And now we'll roll out our next piece of dough. This one is looking so much better. See, we should have started with the second one. Cut it again. And since I floured my surface this time, these noodles should come up no problem. There we go, that's how it's supposed to look. And yes, they have a lot of flour on them, that's completely fine. Keeps them from sticking together. Here's how my mom usually makes hers. She rolls her dough out into a beautiful rectangle. Let me actually make this into a rectangular shape because it's gonna work a lot better that way. You can see why I never do it this way because I just can't roll a nice rectangle to save my life. And then she rolls up the dough. Cut the end off. And then she cuts her noodles into the width, whatever width you'd like. And then just lightly flour your fingers and unfurl all the noodles. She just likes to toss them like this until they all come unraveled. And that is all there is to making homemade egg noodles. If you want any tips on cooking these or how I like to use them in my own home, I'll include those below the recipe. They are great boiled with a little bit of butter and Parmesan cheese. All right, thank you guys so much for watching today's recipe. I hope you try this one out. I hope it's useful to you. Great for making if you can't get to the grocery store. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.